greetings to all so this is a video 5 of module 2 so in last video what we have learned is we see, we saw that i can convert any sine waveform or for that matter any kind of waveform into into a series of zeros and ones or into a series of a uh, discrete values that high will correspond to one thing and low will correspond to another thing and i can remap from that the original waveform so this this method of doing uh, converting a modulating waveform into a series of highs and lows is known as pulse width modulation where the width of the pulse where the width of the pulse corresponds to the magnitude of that particular at that particular so you can see that the magnitude is changing from here to here so you can see that the magnitude is correspond to the uh, the width correspond to the magnitude you can uh, see as the we can see from the example so as i can take this one so here you can see the magnitude is very low here so the pulse width is also low as the magnitude is increasing of the blue waveform that is a modulating waveform as the magnitude is increasing the width of the pulse is increasing so we are we are uh, codifying the magnitude into the width of the pulse so that is why the name is given pulse width modulation okay so this is clear that uh, i can convert any waveform into a pulse width modulated waveform okay then we learned how i can inject another kind of harmonic into it that is third harmonic i have injected i can inject any harmonic fourth fifth sixth seventh anything so now we'll be learning how can i do the analysis of uh, harmonic from a given waveform so suppose i have these two waveforms one waveform is a that is simple waveform i even i i know the 50 hertz i have given it to the okay so first thing is how i can uh, find the frequency of any waveform so we can find graphically using uh, using scope so i can use this so as we know that any waveform is uh, the frequency of waveform how we can uh, do if you have a waveform given here so you can use this which is the measurement tools and i can uh, i need to close this now i can put this marker on zero and the first waveform will be ending here so it will be going positive then negative then zero so i can see that the total time delta is 20 millisecond and frequency is 49.827 which is close to 50 because we have uh, i can put it exactly yeah okay so frequency is 50 hertz so this way we can find out the uh, frequency of any waveform okay now this frequency will be known as a fundamental frequency okay which is the original frequency of the waveform now what i can do how can i find the harmonic added in this okay so i'll be putting waveforms into some scope and i'll be going to the scope and then to the setting okay when i go to the setting there is written a word logging that means data logging so when i go to the data logging there is written log data to the workspace which is already being done okay tick mark has been done okay so i can stop the function now i can work i will again go to the workspace uh, the scope then data logging and i will uh, in your case it may not be checked so you have to check this box log data then you can give the name a waveform variable to the scope and then you have to do the structure with time and this is very important because you have to structure your waveform according to the time so that because harmonic analysis is uh, cannot be done without uh, time data so you will be applying this and you will be doing okay okay this is one thing second thing is go to the model setting and go to the data import export okay here you can see that i have unchecked this single simulation output if this is checked you have to uncheck it if you will be doing uncheck you will be uh, if this is checked you will not be able to do the safety analysis you can do okay okay these are the two important things now we'll be running the program and we'll be seeing how the fft analysis of the paper so you can see that i have put an additional block which is known as discrete block so this block is known as power gui 
this block is used to for multiple things but the one thing which can be done using this is fft so for fft the solver i am using the same as the solver in the model setting so in model setting i have kept solver to fixed step od1 you can use od3 5 depending on your problems and i have used the fundamental step size to be 1 microsecond why i have kept 1 microsecond is because the maximum or the minimum time period i am having in this model is uh, due to this 2 kilohertz carrier signal so the you can see the time period it is taking to complete one triangle waveform is uh, 500 mill microsecond or 0.5 millisecond so i have to keep the step size smaller than this okay so step size is the size in which the matlab calculates or the uh, solver calculates the entire uh, loop or entire solution so it has to be smallest in the overall model so i have taken 1 microsecond because uh, i have already have a 0.5 uh, millisecond waveform in my model so i am keeping it 1 microsecond so okay now we'll be going to this inside this okay i will be going the here here you can see tool okay so uh, here you can see tool i will be clicking to the tool and going to the fft when we go to the fft here you can see a waveform okay so this waveform is the waveform which is to be analyzed so suppose i analyze waveform input 2 which is a simple sine wave what i am doing is i am starting time is 0.1 second and ending time is the 10 cycle from that point fundamental frequency i already know that the fundamental frequency of working is 50 hertz for our model and in some cases uh, it can be differ okay so i am doing the list i am pulling out the list of the all the frequencies on all the harmonics as i do display i see that the total harmonic distortion thd is zero because this waveform is idle waveform idle uh, sine waveform and all the magnitude is kept at 50 hertz rest everything is zero okay this is one thing i can do now i will be introducing some harmonic so suppose first i will be adding third harmonic normalizing it with the 500 volt and adding it to the waveform now i will be doing run command and this is the harmonic inter introduced waveform a third so right now i have introduced third okay so you can see the waveform it has been distorted okay so blue one is the original sine wave and yellow one is the distorted or the third harmonic introduced sine wave now i will be doing the frequency uh, the fft analysis i will be again going to the tool fft analysis and here i can see that here i can see the fft analysis uh, this is the window from 0.1 to 10 uh, 10 cycles 50 hertz is a uh, and i will be doing the this list here i can see that the thd is not zero it is 16% and this is due to the introduction of the third harmonic and the magnitude of third harmonic uh, is shown is 16.67% because we have uh, the magnitude i have introduced is of the 1/6 of the total magnitude how i can see this this third harmonic the magnitude is 230 divided by 6 which is 1/6 of the original waveform now suppose i i add one more waveform okay uh, sample per period okay now i'll be adding uh, third harmony okay uh, i will be adding ninth harmony so what i am doing is 2 pi 50 is the fundamental frequency i am multiplying it with the 9 and magnitude suppose i put divide by 10 so 1/10 uh, of the fundamental frequency i am adding as a ninth harmony so i will be adding this to the waveform and again running the program now i can see that the original wave waveform is further distorted you can see that because there are third harmonic and ninth harmonic the waveform has been di totally distorted now if i want to see the fft analysis i will be going to tools going to fft and i will be seeing the input number 1 which is the our waveform or this waveform 
and I'll be going for the 10 cycles. 50 hertz is already fundamental. And I can see that the THT has increased to almost 19.5%. Why? Because there was already 100% of fundamentals. Then I introduced third harmonic, which is 16% or the one sixth of the 100%. And there are four, fifth, six I haven't added, and I have added ninth. So what percentage of ninth? One tenth of the original fundamental waveform. So one tenth of the hundred percent is ten percent. So because of this, the total harmonic has been uh, total harmonic distortion factor has increased to nineteen percent. This I can see in bar also. Here I can see the fundamental, the third harmonic, and the ninth harmonic at four fifty. So this is for today. Uh, this is how we can analyze the uh, of harmonic analysis can be done like this. So thank you for this. We'll be starting projects on buck converter and the uh, V-buyer control induction motor. Thank you.